Hey guys, it's full blown heating season here and it is time to start checking and servicing the gas fired appliances. And one question I get all the time from people is what type of tools do I like to use whenever I'm performing maintenances or just troubleshooting a furnace or a boiler? And one tool that I recently picked up that I really am enjoying lately is by Fieldpiece. It's the SDMN6. And this is a dual port manometer and it also has a built in pressure switch tester. So it's really cool to have when you're out there working on something, you could just pick up one tool and it has multiple functions that you can use. So one of the functions that you can test with this particular tool, like I said before, is pressure switches. What you can do is actually hook up the pressure switch to either uh, port one or port two on the tool. And it also has a built-in pump. And what that pump is gonna do is pull a vacuum on that switch. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna also use the, the leads here, the wire leads, and you're gonna connect directly to that switch. So it'll tell you on this LED once that switch is closed. So what you can do is go into test mode and start bumping up the pressure, or the negative pressure I should say, until it actually closes and then you'll know that that pressure switch is actually working properly or it's not because you can relate it to what it's rated for on the switch itself. So that's a really cool feature to have that not only are you just doing it the proper way, you are able to read it on the display exactly what pressure that it's closing or opening at. So that leads me to a function that it has, which is pretty cool. It's called their auto function mode. And what that does is when you're in the test mode and you're starting to adjust your negative pressure, you push the hold button. And what that's gonna do is while you're adjusting the pressure up or down, it's automatically gonna stop and show you the value at which the switch closed or open, depending on if you're going up or down. So there's no guesswork there. You can see exactly what pressure that switch is operating at, and that way you know if it's actually working properly or not. That is super uh, cool to have, and I've really been enjoying that mode. Another thing that you can do while you're testing is if you have an adjustable pressure switch, you can go ahead and hook up to that, and you can monitor the pressure at which it opens and closes while you're adjusting. So if you do need to make an adjustment while you're out in the field, let's say it's a universal one or whatever the case is, you can dial that in with this tool very nicely. So that's just something really cool to have. Another function this meter has is checking gas pressure, right? So you can check the inlet or the outlet because you have pressure one and pressure two on the tool. So that'll give you the individual pressures or it'll give you a difference as well. So that way you can see what the pressure drop is across that valve. This tool comes with all of the hoses and fittings and probes that you're gonna to need to be able to also check static pressures. So if you wanna check airflow or a pressure drop across either a coil, blower, or a filter, you have that functionality all within this one tool. So that's super nice to have. Instead of having three or four different tools with you at once, you could just carry this with you and you can check multiple things. And with this tool, you can also check and calibrate pressure transducers. So that way, if you're working on a commercial application that has those within the systems, you can do that as well. This manometer can read up to 60 inches of water column. So that gives you a ton of flexibility depending on whatever application that you're working on. And when it comes to the testing mode, whenever you're testing those pressure switches, it can test all the way up to a negative five inches of water column. So one way I like to use this tool is whenever I'm checking a pressure drop across a filter. When I'm doing a maintenance, I like to make sure that the filter's actually dirty before we replace it because there's no sense of charging the customer for something that doesn't even need to be replaced. So an easy way to do that is to go ahead and hook up your manometer across the filter and we can check that pressure drop to see if it's actually dirty. So as you can see here, I have P1 highlighted, which is the big number. That's 0.34 inches of water column. And that's what's gonna be on the leaving side of the filter. And if I click this button here, the P1, P2, it'll switch over to the P2 port, which is reading the incoming pressure of the filter, which is 0.25 inches of water column. And then down here at the bottom, that's gonna show me the difference between the two ports, which is giving me a 0 0.1, 0 0.11 inch of water column. So that tells me this filter is still very clean. So let's talk about the tool itself and the build quality. Just like all field piece products, this thing is super durable. It has this thick rubber housing all the way around that just keeps it protected if you bump it or drop it. On the back side, it has a built-in magnet. So that allows you to quickly attach it to the equipment. That way you're hands-free to do whatever adjusting that you need to do. But if you don't want that, 
It is Velcroed, so you can quickly remove it as well. Um, on the top side, you have P1 and P2, just like we talked about for all the different applications. And then in the center is the pump port. So that's where you hook up to your pressure switches to get that vacuum. And then on right below that, you have these two black terminals, and that's where you hook up the wires to your pressure switch to be able to tell you um, if it's closed or open, so it's reading continuity on that pressure switch. So the main reason why this is one of my favorite tools these days when I'm working on a furnace or a boiler is because it's just multiple tools in one, which means I need to carry less when I'm going up to the job site. And that just makes me more efficient at my job, makes me much happier because I'm not having to carry and load around a bunch of stuff. And it just streamlines my process when it comes to troubleshooting or inspecting a piece of equipment. So that's really important to me. I really like simplicity. So when I can have a tool that can do multiple things for me, I just really enjoy that. So if you're like me and you like simplicity and good quality tools, I highly recommend that you check out this field piece SDMN6. I'll leave a link down in the description for you to check it out. If you enjoyed this video, you got something out of it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about this type of video and this tool if you've used one yourself. And like always, I appreciate you guys watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, see you guys later.